Hello students, welcome to Google SketchUp tutorial 4, creating a mini art gallery. So for this project, we need to go to Internet Explorer. So let's click on Internet Explorer, and then we need to go to Google. So in the address bar, please type in www.google.ca. So I need you to think about an appropriate piece of artwork or poster that you'd like to put up in your art gallery. Now it can be a very famous painting or it can simply be a poster of your favorite sports hero or your favorite car or your favorite movie or your favorite character or your favorite video game. It does not matter as long as it's appropriate for school. So in the Google window you can type in the artist name or simply you can do a search for any poster that you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Star Wars poster and then I'm going to go to images. Now if I type in Star Wars it's going to give me thousands, hundreds of thousands of images. So I want you to look for the appropriate image that you would like to use and you would like to create a piece of artwork for. So I'm going to type on this, I'm going to click on this first one and I want the maximum resolution so make sure you click on the thumbnail so that it opens up. I want you to right click and then I want you to choose save picture as. Alright, I want you to make sure that the image that you are saving is in fact a JPEG image. Now if it's not then maybe you should choose a different image. I want you to click the down arrow and save this image in your student number. Click on your student number next to the icon of the drive. Finally, I want you to give this a file name that you're going to remember. So I'm going to call this Star Wars Image. I'm going to click Save. So now I've got it saved. So you can close Internet Explorer or you can minimize it. I'm going to minimize it. All right, let's open Google SketchUp 8. If you have the option to choose a template, please do so. And I want you to choose the one that says meters. Let's start using SketchUp. All right, so for this project, we don't need the girl. So let's click on the girl and then use the delete key on your keyboard. All right, let's find that picture. Let's let's get that image. So let's go to file and I want you to go down to import. Not open, but import. We need to look for a JPEG image. Now right now I think your computer is set to look for SketchUp files. So I need you to click next to files of type, click the down arrow and go down to JPEG image. I want you to look in your student number for that image. So click the down arrow, click on your student number. And you should be able to see that image there. So I'm going to open the image. So I want you to make sure that you don't click on your mouse. What you'll see is the image is now attached to your cursor. So I want you to line up the bottom left hand corner of your poster to the origin point and you'll see that the origin point actually turns yellow and I want you to click once. That is going to lock the image to the origin. Now as you move your mouse you'll see that you can adjust the size. So have a look in the bottom right hand corner and you can see the width or the height or the length of this poster. So I've got it set now it's showing me the height so I definitely want to keep it under two meters. I, I think you should have it about one meter, less than a meter, or slightly more than a meter. Don't worry about how small it looks on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to 1.25 meters. And I'm going to click once more. Now that image is locked. So let's use the magnifying glass. And let's zoom in so that we can see our image a little bit better. And I'm going to use the pan tool and I'm going to pan over. Okay, so let's click on the cursor tool, the select tool. 
And what I want you to do is I want you to right click on your image and this window should pop up. So when you right click, I want you to choose explode. Now let's use the push pull tool and I want you to raise that image slightly, not a great deal, just slightly. Now that image or that poster has like a 3D effect to it. All right, let's use the orbit tool and let's orbit to the back of the poster. So we need the secondary toolbar. So I need you to go to view, choose toolbars and choose large tool set. Let's use the offset tool. So click on the offset tool. This is what it looks like. And then what I need you to do is I need you to offset the back of your image slightly. I don't want this huge frame around. What we're doing is we're creating a frame around this poster. So we want it fairly tight to the poster. And then click. Let's use the orbit tool. Let's have a look. And again, if you've drawn it too thin or if you've drawn it too thick, go to Edit, Undo, and try it again. All right, let's use the Push-Pull tool, and let's try to raise the frame so that it goes higher than your poster. Very nice. So we've created a very nice box frame around it. I'm going to zoom in again. And I'm going to use the pan tool. And what I want to do is I want to color the frame around it. So let's use the paint can. And I probably don't want to choose any type of materials. I probably just want to go straight to colors. You can choose any color that you want. You can experiment with different colored frames. Now, because the poster of Star Wars is very dark already, I'm going to choose something that's going to stand out. Maybe something like a gray. Let's see if I can find a gray here. Here we go. And then I want to color the frame. And I also want to color the insides of the frame. As well and the outsides. Now I may have to orbit around so that I can see all the sides. So I'll have to go around here and then click back on the paint can and color there, color the outside here, color the top, color this surface there, Go all the way around and this is the last one I don't think I have to worry about coloring the back okay now let's go to window let's close this I don't need this window anymore and I'm gonna go up to the window menu I'm going to choose the first option, Model Info. I'm going to click on it. Down the left-hand side, I want to click on File. And then I want to go down here to Alignment, where it says Glue To. And I want to click the down arrow, and I want to choose Any. And then I can close this window. So again, before you do, make sure it says glue to any. And then I want to close this. Okay. So let's save this. Let's save this file here. So let's go to File, Save As. We're going to save the model. And I'm going to call this Star Wars Poster. Make sure you save it in your student number, of course, and click Save. OK. 
Okay. All right, let's create a room or an art gallery to put this wonderful poster in. Let's go to File, New. Whenever you get this window, always choose Maybe Later. All right, this time we want to keep the girl because, again, we want to have that reference point for size. So we're going to create a very small art gallery room. So we've created the floor, and then I'd like you to use the offset tool, and I'd like you to create a smaller rectangle inside the first rectangle. So what that's going to represent is that's going to represent the width of the wall. Okay. Then I want you to use the push-pull tool, and I want you to raise the wall there. Okay, make sure you go past the height of the girl. Okay, let's create a large opening for this art gallery room. So there's my opening. I'm going to switch to the cursor tool and I'm going to click on this and hit delete or I can right click and choose erase. And then remember, there's another part of the wall inside, so I have to right-click on that and erase. So now I've got a cutout, and I can see into the room. Now, if you want, you can create another cutout on this side. And you can delete the surface. There we go. So now we've got an opening to two sides of the room. Very nice. All right, let's bring in our poster. Let's go to File, and let's again go back down to Import. Now this time, we don't want to look for JPEG images. We want to look for SketchUp Files. So it, next to Files of Type, Make sure you click SketchUp Files. Click on your student number. And I want you to look for the poster that you created. So I'm going to click on my file, which is Star Wars Poster. And I'm going to click Open. Now, you can move your mouse around, and what you want to do is you want to you want to first get the poster vertically, and then you want to hang it on one of the walls. So I'm going to click, and that should lock the poster onto that wall. So I'm going to use the orbit tool, and I'm going to spin around, and there it is. Okay, so now that you've got the basic techniques, what I would like you to do is I would like you to create other pieces of art that you could bring in to this little mini art gallery. Then you can paint the floors, the walls, whatever you like. When you're finished, please call Mr. Uweda over to have a look at your project. Let's save this before I finish our tutorial. So let's go to File, Save As, and we'll call this Mini art gallery and let's click save all right good luck i'm looking forward to seeing your awesome pieces of art in your mini art gallery thanks we'll see you next time bye